Judge, I'm really curious about your thinking on this. And I don't want my questions to be interpreted as uh, suggestive or, or inconsistent with your thinking. But you and I are about the same age, I think. I think so. That's right, Senator. Uh, what is, when you refer to systemic racism, what is that? I think, <laughs> I think it is um, plain to me that uh, there is uh, <coughs> uh, uh, discrimination and uh, uh, widespread disparate treatment of communities of color and other ethnic minorities uh, in this country. They have um, a disproportionately lower uh, employment, disp uh, disproportionately lower home ownership rates, disproportionately uh, lower ability uh, to accumulate wealth. Dis dis so can I stop you? Because this five minutes goes so fast. I'm sorry. So you're basically saying there's a, there's a disparate impact. There's disparate impact, which um, in some cases is the consequence of um, uh, historical patterns. Sometimes uh, uh, is the consequence okay, of let me, let me uh, unconscious this. bias and sure. some kind of uh, 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 consciousness. When you were at the Department of Justice, yes. was the Department of Justice then systemically racist? I think each we look for a pattern or practice in each institution. When you talk about a specific institution, you look for its pattern and practices. But uh, but you how do you know what you know? In other words, you say an institution is systemically racist. I, I didn't say any particular institution. I, I know I'm not I'm not saying you did. Yeah. I'm saying if you say an institution is systemically racist, how do you know what you know? Do you measure it by disparate impact? controlling you for other factors? Well, the, the various... Or do you, you just look at the numbers and say the, the system must be racist. Well, no, now you've asked me a, a, a slightly different question, which I think I have a slightly different answer for. Okay. So cool. the, the authority the Justice Department has to investigate institutions is to look for patterns or practices of unconstitutional conduct. And if we find a pattern or a practice of unconstitutional conduct, I would describe that as, as uh, uh, in, uh, institutional racism within that institution. Um, that may not be the be perfect definition, but that, that's what I would think. So it's it. just a product of the numbers. Well, if there is a pattern and a, a practice, this is not just a question of individual numbers. What we're looking for here under those investigations are patterns. Why is it that you know a series of similar events are occurring uh, like that? Look, uh, looking into any individual's heart is not something we can do. Who bears the burden of proving that? The institution? Or no, the God, no, no, no. Like as in all, in all, all uh, matters of law, the burden is on uh, the government, the investigator, to to prove first by investigation, then before a court. Is there any other way to measure institutional racism other than than the numbers, the disparate impact? Well, yes. I mean, you can look at uh, large numbers of individual cases in which discriminatory conduct is actually found, intentional discriminatory conduct. Then it's not just a question of numbers. But, uh, uh, you know, if, a, if, a, if an institution has a very large number of, uh, of uh, incidents of unconstitutional conduct, the entity is uh, responsible in the same way a corporation is responsible for the behavior of its individuals is the same way as uh, same way uh, anyway. what's the difference though between people who are racist and institution that's racist uh -huh. Uh, now we do have a cosmic question, but I think institutions are made up of... Yeah, but their... this is important. I know. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm totally with you. I'm, I, I totally agree with that. Corporations are nothing other than the collection of their individuals. And the same is true for a public entity, which is in a, in, in a certain way a corporation. Okay, corporation. i got to get one more in. I'm sorry. i got 24 I'm seconds. I'm sorry. You asked a very hard question. I'm well, we, we can talk about this later, but I want to ask you about this concept of implicit bias. Yeah. Does that mean I'm a racist no matter what I do or what I think? I'm a racist, but I don't know I'm a racist? Okay, the, the label racist is not one that I would apply uh, like that. Implicit bias just means that every human being has biases. That's part of what it means to be a human being. And the point of uh, examining our implicit biases is to bring our conscious mind up to our unconscious mind. 
and to, 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 to know when we're behaving in a stereotyped way. Everybody has stereotypes. It's, it's not possible to go through life without working through stereotypes. And uh, implicit biases are the ones that we don't recognize the, our behavior. That but doesn't make you racist, who, no. Who judges that? Doesn't the person judging me have his own implicit bias? How do I know his implicit bias isn't worse than my implicit bias? I, I agree, but I'm not judging you, Senator, and I don't know I'm who, not would, asking who you would to, be judging. But somebody, if you say you have implicit bias, that's a pejorative statement. Uh, 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 I'm not saying you're being mean. You're not a yeah. mean guy. That's obvious. You're a nice guy. If you say somebody has implicit bias, somebody's got to make that subjective judgment, yeah. and the person making that subjective judgment has implicit bias, if it's part of being a human, then how do you know who wins? Fair enough. But if we say that all people have implicit bias, it's not, uh, you shouldn't take it as pejorative. This is just an, an element of the human condition. Uh, so you shouldn't take that as, uh, as pejorative. Implicit bias is just a descriptor of, uh, of the way people's mind, everyone's mind works. How about if you say that America has racists in it, just like everybody else? Does that just like everywhere else? Does that make America systemically racist? 